Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to share with you perfumes for every occasion that you could think of in the summer. I've got 13 fragrances here to share with you and I'm super excited. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just hit that button. Enjoy the weird and wonderful family. It would be awesome to have you part of the community and... Without further ado, let's get into this. So Chantelle Tiffany, she put out a tag video last year, kind of around the same subject. So I'll leave her video linked below because it was awesome. First occasion I thought of was going to the beach. So the fragrance I chose for that is Alien Eau Sublime. Now, if you are an alien lover, you, you need to uh, sniff this one. It, it's delicious. It's quite, it's got a kind of a little bit of a citrus opening, just a light citrus. It's got some solar notes and then you've got your uh, alien DNA. So it's a little lighter, a little bit brighter. I believe this is an EDT. The longevity is pretty decent. Like I get up at least five hours out of this and, and it's just, it smells relaxing. There's a sexy component to it. I like the, there's a bit of a sunscreen vibe in it. If you like fragrances like Eau de Soleil Blanc and you like Alien, this is definitely one to check out. As usual, I'll have them all linked down below. The next occasion would be like a pool party and I chose Bobbi Brown Beach. Now this fragrance, again, it's kind of got that sunscreen vibe. Uh, this is a rather affordable fragrance, uh, not major longevity. It's got a sweetness to it. There's a bit of a floral, floral component, but you still get that, um, you know, sunscreen vibe. And honestly, if you get Bobbi Brown Le Beach and you want that sunscreen feel with other fragrances, this is an excellent layering fragrance because that's essentially what you get is that sunscreen with a, a bit of floral in it. Just a hint of floral. Uh, there's a, like a slight sweetness to this one and it's just kind of a a sexy, refreshing, uh, no-brainer type fragrance. Um, I got this one for really, really affordable because of the longevity being rather poor on this one. I wouldn't spend, I think it's $100 retail. So if you can get it for under 40, I think that this one's a great fragrance. So for a tropical vacation, I chose Dolce Garden. Uh, basically, this one has the tiara flower. It's got, you know, those, um, you know, creamy kind of tropical florals. There's some magnolia in this one. I think there's some beeswax. So there's a bit of a waxy quality. It's sweet, it's syrupy, it's got coconut in it. It's sexy, it's relaxing. This one's just totally perfect for a tropical vacation. And I'm definitely wearing you soon because, seriously, it's intoxicating. This fragrance, absolutely intoxicating. I love it. Some people don't. Some people don't love this one, but it's, it, as you can see, it's got a lot of love. Now the next summer occasion, what is the bridal shower? So, and I'm not talking about you being the bride, I'm just talking about you attending. So if I were to choose a fragrance for that, I would choose La Nuit Tresor Nude. So this is a beautiful, uncomplicated coconut fragrance. It's a coconut vanilla. Uh, it's very elegant. Um, it's, it's not so heavy that you're going to choke out anyone, but it's definitely something you could wear during the day. I believe the notes in this one are rose, vanilla, and coconut. So what I get mainly is the coconut and vanilla. Uh, I get a hint of that rose. There is some sort of La Nuit Tresor DNA in this, because I definitely picked up on that as soon as I sniffed it. Uh, but this one is just, it's deliciously delectable and very elegant. I absolutely love this fragrance. It has definitely become one of my favorites for 2022, for sure. The next summer occasion is the Stagette. And so for the Stagette, you're kind of wanting to smell sexy. Uh, at least I would be wanting to smell sexy, even though it's just going out with a bunch of girls, but you're going for a night on the town and you want to smell your absolute best. So I would choose Scandal by Night by Jean-Paul Gaultier. This fragrance, uh, again, this has become a, a made, like I've gotten a lot of really wonderful perfumes in 2022. This is one of them. This uh, to me is the nighttime ver version of Scandal à Paris. Scandal à Paris has jasmine, honey, and pear. This one has pear as well, but it also has cherry. I think it's got tube rose and no jasmine, but to me it smells totally like jasmine somehow. So 
Uh, I get cherry, I get a little hint of pear, so it keeps it a little bit fresh, along with that honey and that floral. This one is so sexy. I absolutely love it. The cherry isn't cloying. It somehow brings a freshness to the table and um, really balances out that honey, which can get really sticky. This, the honey could get cloying, but with the cherry, this just smells like, oh yeah, cherries dipped in honey. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm living for this one. Now, next occasion is actually attending the wedding, and I chose Flora Botanica by Balenciaga. Now, I have talked about this one a lot lately. Yes, it's discontinued, but yes, you can find it on uh, fragrancenet.com. So I'll leave the, like, like I said, all the things will be linked down below. But um, you can also get the dupe from Perfume Parlor, which is a hint more minty, but still just absolutely excellent. This is so beautiful. I love the green uh, and the, there's some green in it. There's some mintiness in this one. Uh, so it keeps it fresh and kind of airy. Uh, but then you've got this beautiful rose that begins to develop that smells a little bit kind of dewy and it's absolutely stunning. The other thing that's fantastic about, about Flora Botanica is that um, it lasts for about 10 hours. So if you put this on, it's going to last you all absolutely all day so uh, this is such a beautiful fragrance and definitely crowd pleasing like if someone smells it in the air it's a very pleasant smell so I think this one is perfect for attending a wedding uh, but like I said I'll leave the perfume parlor dupe uh, much more affordable and also very very similar so yeah and the longevity on the perfume parlor dupe is really good as well the next summer occasion that needs a fragrance is going to a carnival or a fair and I had to choose Wonderland Peony by Floral Street now you guys know uh, this one is just to me um, somehow a musical like a wonderland musical is what i think of like it's got peony it's got cotton candy it's got some cedar in it there's pink pepper in here uh there's raspberry bloom but it comes across as raspberry so this is just kind of like a beautiful raspberry cotton candy it's uh rather sweet but not too sweet the longevity in this one is about four and a half five hours but it is such a fun fragrance. It projects beautifully. And yeah, I think of like a pastel, somehow a pastel like musical at a carnival. Uh, you'd be wearing Wonderland Peony for sure, especially with that cotton candy note in it. It just smells, it smells delicious. Like it just smells delicious. It's flirty, it's fun, it's fresh. Uh, it doesn't get too cloying. And I just, I think that you will smell, you'll smell like you belong there. <laughs> When I tell you that I am hot and sweaty, I mean it sincerely. Like right now, I am just, oh, oh. I complained a while back because we hadn't gotten to summer. Well, we've got a summer like full on now and I turn off my fan and everything uh, to record so that it's quiet. And I am, I'm very, very, I'm very, very dewy. <laughs> the next occasion I thought of was a romantic picnic. So you're going somewhere with your significant other. You're going to be sitting on a rolling hillside, drinking some wine, eating some deliciousnesses on a blanket. It's going to be romantic. It's going to be wonderful. I chose Issy Miyake's Low Dissy Rose and Rose. I love this fragrance. It's so pretty. Um, oh, I just sprayed it all over my thumb. <laughs> I think that this is such a beautiful fragrance. It has the low dissy DNA, but to me this is jammed up with some raspberry and some rose, and I just think it's beautiful. This is such a romantic fragrance. It's feminine, it's it's juicy, there's a bit of jamminess, like the, the raspberry and rose combination gives this a little bit of jamminess. So I find it way more sexy than low dissy, like there's a sexy quality to this one. It's an absolutely beautiful fragrance. It's relatively affordable too, I believe. Uh, the longevity on it is pretty decent. Like I get at least six hours out of this. And I just think that this is, would be absolutely beautiful for a romantic kind of day date, doing a, a picnic or something of that nature. You're gonna smell delectable, feminine, 
slightly intoxicating, but not overpowering. Next summer occasion is a barbecue. Who doesn't love a barbecue? I know I love them. And I chose Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue Love is Love. To me, this is a perfect fragrance for kind of a real casual environment. It's energizing, it's invigorating. You get the light blue DNA, but less woodiness and more raspberry and a hint of cream or milk in here. Uh, so it comes across a little bit like a lemon raspberry sorbet. It's very light, so it's not going to be overpowering at all. But if someone comes in for a hug, they're going to smell it. And you're going to smell it. It has a decent scent bubble around it. And um, to me, this one's just energizing, invigorating, fun to wear, uh, and perfect just kind of for something casual. Next summer occasion is work. Everybody has to work even in the summer. Well, some people don't have to work and I'm kind of jealous. For a great, elegant, sophisticated, yet summer type work fragrance, I'd pick Prada La Femme. Uh, this fragrance can honestly be worn all year round. Uh, but I do love the kind of uh, warm tropical uh, component to this with some of those yellow florals like Ylang Ylang uh, and Frangipani. This has tuberose and I would say tuberose is the star of the show. However, it's not a bubblegum tuberose. It's more of a clean smelling tuberose. This has spices in it. There's a bit of a waxy quality to this one. Uh, I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's very elegant. It's very work appropriate, in my opinion. You're not going to have massive projection, uh, but there is going to be a bit of a trail. It's not going to choke anyone out, uh, but even <laughs> if it does, it smells amazing. This one is Bougie Work Boss. Uh, smells like you know what you're doing and that you, you're going to get what you go for. <laughs> Prada La Femme smells clean, uh, but still kind of relaxing with those beautiful tropical florals. I love this one and it's perfect for work. So the next summer occasion would be a romantic date night evening. You're wanting to intoxicate them. You know what fragrance I'm going to choose. Olympia Intense. This one, it's so uber sexy. So if this date night you want it to go somewhere, you're going to put this on. Now, if you don't like salt, you're not going to like this, but this is just a, a vanillic amber salt bomb. It's so sexy. Uh, it sticks around forever. So you put it on, you're going to have it on for the evening. It's very intoxicating. So this is one of my favorites. I always say this smells like some sort of ocean goddess coming up out of the salty water, uh, all bronze and gl glorious. She's wearing this and she smells seriously intoxicating. <laughs> so I love this one and for a date night, it's gonna put you in the mood and it's gonna put your guy in the mood. <laughs> the last summer occasions, I've got two, two picks for them and it's kind of that easy reach everyday type fragrance that's gonna work no matter what. So I put, picked an easy reach casual and an easy reach sophisticated. So my easy reach casual is Trois L'Imperatrice by Dolce & Gabbana. Now this fragrance, it smells like a, a like if you took a bunch of, uh, like a fruit salad. So lots of melons in there, a little bit of tartness, uh, and then kind of put it all into some water and kind of infused it. Uh, that's what you'd get out of this. So this has musk in it as well. So it's got this musky quality. It's just a really fun fragrance. And I know lots of people say they don't get great longevity out of this one. I get about five hours. I overspray. Uh, but whenever I don't really know what to wear, like, you know, I've smelt a bunch of perfumes and I'm like, uh, 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 uh. This is the one I'm going to reach for because it's pleasant, it's uplifting, kind of refreshing, uh, and it's just kind of a fun fragrance. Now, some people, okay, full disclosure, some people somehow think this smells a little bit like B.O. and they hate it. Uh, so you're either going to think it stinks or you're going to love it. <laughs> one or the other. I happen to love it. So the last would be kind of that easy reach sophisticated fragrance. So you want to smell sophisticated, put together, uh, but you're not quite sure what to wear. I would choose Untamed Perfumes, My Greek Lover. This one is absolutely gorgeous. There's a sexy sophistication to this that doesn't feel like it's trying too hard. This one has lemon, bitter orange, green grapes, herbs, and spices in the top. The heart is quince, fig, jasmine, and orange blossom. And the base is cedar, cypress, pine, mastic, musks, honey, and civet. 
uh, what you get here is a beautiful kind of uh, orange blossom centric so the orange blossom kind of holds everything together you get the lemon and just a hint of that citrus from the orange you get some juicy sweetness from the grapes and then you get that beautiful orange blossom coming through uh, kind of throughout the whole entire perfume but it's just uh, like it's just kind of holding all the other notes together there is a woody component to this uh, but to me, it comes across more like the woodiness in Eau de Sole Blanc, where you've got kind of a cypressy, uh, aromatic feel rather than any sort of heavy wood. This stays light. Um, I just think that this is so beautiful. It's super long lasting. Like you're going to get a full day's wear out of this one, whereas, you know, this one is like a, a five hour. This is going to last you 10. Um, it's very sophisticated, sensual. It's an absolute beauty. So love this one if I want to just reach for something, don't know what to wear, but I want to smell sophisticated and slightly sexy, I'm going to grab this one. So those are my uh, summer occasions and a fragrance that goes with each one of them. Uh, what about you? What would you choose for these occasions? Feel free to leave them in the comments. And that is it. I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.